This is my 383 stroker. It's my first engine build. Got a Dart SHP block. Scat forge crank. Some all scat internals, scat rods, Icon forge pistons, custom comp billet cam. These just one and five eighths primary tube headers, nothing special. And engine stands, just the regular all star bars. And you can see where I welded on the inside and out. Kind of a redneck stand, but just set up where it won't roll over. And then just an old radiator here. And we don't have it really warmed up, you know, so I don't have a fan on the radiators. I'm not worried about overheating it or anything, but. We'll fire it up for you and let it idle here for a sec and see how it goes. You can go ahead and hook up the fuel pump. Then just, yeah, you know how to touch it. And then. See, it's pretty loud with the open headers and stuff, but not being warmed up, kind of idles higher, but it's all solid roller cam and it's got Harlan Sharp roller rockers and in my info at the end, I'll put in there all my specs and stuff and my cams. I got a custom one made with a smaller base circle and stuff, but nothing fancy for a first engine build. Just tried to make it look nice and stay original with the dual plane Elderbrot Performer intake and just, I had the Proform kit for the valve covers and air breather you know and I got the comp can sticker covering up my the Chevrolet in orange but you can see all the logos they all match and pretty good looking engine and stuff gotta get it in a find a car to put it in or something else to test it out and see what it'll push out it ought to with the AFR heads and the 210 cc runner heads and everything I would think you could be around 550 you know I don't want to exaggerate but I plan on getting a dyno here within the next couple weeks and getting it broke in actually see what some numbers that this thing puts out but thanks for watching